Hans Shershaw here for XPro Heli. Today I'm going to talk to you about flight simulators. Um, we've tried a whole bunch of different ones. What I've come up with, my favorite one, is Real Flight. Um, the Real Flight Basic is what I recommend just because you really don't need anything more than this. It's only $99. It's going to save you a ton of time and parts and frustration and you're gonna get the hang of it. They have a trainer helicopter that you use and I'm just gonna kinda of show you a couple little quick moves and um, maybe give you a little bit of some tips just to kinda of get you going on the simulator. So I've installed the software. So this is the airport that I recommend using here. Um, on your controller you basically can control what you're gonna, whether you're looking at your um, controller on the screen over here, what airport you're going to use, what helicopter you're going to fly or airplane. Um, this is my second one after you kind of use the trainer for a while. That's the second one I like to fly. So we're going to start with the trainer. It's the one with the balls on the, on the sticks on the bottom of the helicopter. And we're going to start it off with, we're not going to do the 3D. We're just going to make it so that it's just like ours. The further the throttle is up, the faster the props are spinning. So basically, I like this one because you have a little landing target, so you can kind of practice really getting into a landing spot and you know land it on that little circle thing. Um, what I think people should do at first is kind of imagine if you're setting up a shot, like let's just say we wanted to get a tall shot of this field and do like a quick lift and just kind of get like a almost like a crane shot of this field and then we're just going to do that and then we're going to bring it back down and try to land it in front of us. Um, it's easier to fly these helicopters when they're facing, when the back of them is facing you because then right is right, left is left, forwards forward, backwards backwards. So it just makes it a lot easier to fly it that way. When you have it turned around, everything is backwards all of a sudden. So it's easier just to kind of fly it this way. Um, so let's just say that we're going to do this big crane shot of this field. So basically we just get it in place where we want it and then we just hit the throttle and it's going to lift and it's kind of drifting to the left. I'm not going to counter that. I'm just going to let it drift to the left a little bit. Let it go up there. I got my shot. That's what I needed. Now I'm going to try to bring it back down to me. So we're going to drop the throttle a little bit and we have to control this as it's coming down. So we need to make sure that we're we're guiding it back to where we are. And it's a little bit hard to get used to getting your perception, but it just takes time. And then, you know, another great tool is just to practice hovering here. If it's too far away and you don't want to do it that way, then practice just hovering. So I want to take it down that way and land it over on, I don't know, find a spot like that little cross right there. Make that your target. And you can come in, try to land it right on that cross, just like that. Great tool, just a great way to get good at flying, landing. You need to be able to land this thing. You can do all kinds of cool stuff, and once you get better at it, you'll be able to do like flyovers over the runway, and that's a really good practice tool too, is if to just kind of get the helicopter flying over the runway, do some flybys on you. So eventually you'll be able to get this. But for the basics, for what you need to do to get going flying, I really just think it's being able to take off and land like I was showing you there. So we're going to go ahead and just bring it back over towards us. We're going to land it as close as we can onto this little landing spot. So that's just a good way to get going. Again, the, the, for, the closer it is into you, the easier it is to, to see what's going on with the helicopter. You don't want to get all crazy and just try to take it off. This is a great learning one because the throttle doesn't take you off really super fast. So after you get pretty proficient with this one, then we can go ahead and go pick another model and uh, we go into the models. This is one here is called the Raptor 90. And this is a pretty good one just to kind of, after you've got your, your basics down on that, this one doesn't have the balls and 
basically you can do some flights with this one. It's a little bit more sensitive and you can, and it goes a lot faster as well. So you can uh, practice with this and basically just get your, your bearings really super small moves. If you can see my controller on the over on the side there, I'm barely moving the sticks. They're, they're very, very small moves. And, uh, they just practice landing this one as well. So get it to the point where you can land it on that spot or close to it or wherever you want to land. And then, uh, practice your move. The same thing. Let's say that we want to get that aerial shot of this field and we're just going to go straight up with it. We can give it a little forward motion. Again, it's drifting to the left. So we're going to go ahead and fix that. And you can see how small it gets. And obviously on this screen, I'm recording a TV screen, so it's not going to look that good, but, um, and then you're going to crash. Cool thing about this is when you do crash, there's a little red button. You just push that and you start it over and it doesn't cost you anything to repair any parts. It, it helps to fly airplanes. It helps to fly the helicopters, obviously, because that's what it's going to be more like is you're actually going to be flying it like you would fly a helicopter. But just to get your orientation coming at you and going away from you, the, the airplanes actually will kind of help a little bit, just kind of get your brain wrapped around it. So take the time and learn how to do this, because if you don't, you're going to end up spending money on parts. You're going to get frustrated. And again, the real flight basic is the one that we recommend. Um, it comes with a controller in the box and the software. You have lots of models to play with. The graphics are really, really good. So it's going to make it fun. Your friends are going to want to play it too. Or, you know, it's like a video game. So just take the time, do it. Thanks for listening. Thanks for learning. Don't forget practice, practice, practice. Thanks. See you next time.